the industry's most advanced haptic gloves, now in a lightweight wireless package, write their creators from the United States. This is a solution for companies. Ordinary users will be deterred by the $5,500 price tag, plus a $500 monthly subscription. But the technology is quite interesting. Compressed air plus hundreds of micro drives, virtual apples, parts, tools, and other objects will feel just like the real thing. And the glove's compatibility with Unity and Unreal Engine and other tools opens up incredible teamwork possibilities. However, some users predict that this product will end up like the Power Glove, an unpopular controller for the NES console. Interesting fact about Japan number one. According to various estimates, only 12 to 15% of its area is suitable for agriculture. Interesting fact about Japan number two, local farmers are 66 years old on average. That is, the land is scarce and should be used to the maximum, but often activities like irrigation are a bit hard for farmers. So, a variety of robots come to the rescue. This one, for example, helps with harvesting. This robot was also at CES 2023 and surprised visitors with its artificial intelligence. Using all kinds of cameras, it can harvest crops such as bell peppers with an accuracy of 0.04 inches. Plus, the robot monitors crop growth and other things, giving tips if necessary. And it moves via wires. This system is suitable for almost any farm and doesn't damage the ground. A typical baby stroller can easily weigh more than 22 pounds, not including the little passenger. Therefore, for many parents, even a short walk turns into a workout. So, a team from Canada offers parents this smart stroller, which would be the perfect companion for your growing family. On the inside, the stroller is packed with cool technology. A parking brake, just like in a car, the Ella Twin Engine System, which can handle any uphill gradients, according to the manufacturer, autopilot, but only if there's no baby in the stroller, and cameras and sensors for remote navigation, automatic rocking, and even a white noise generator. You can get it for about $3,300, with shipments set to start this April. This robot will come in handy in hospitals. It will relieve nurses by helping to transport patients and carry food, medical records, and other things. The model was developed in France with two versions, the Meroki, or boy, and Meroka, or girl. The designers were inspired by Pixar animated films and came up not only with the overall look, but also a whole story about these funny long-eared creatures. The inner components are curious too. The robots understand commands like put these items in their places. They move at about two miles per hour and operate up to eight hours on a single charge. The robots have a payload capacity of about seven pounds. They'll be used in a Parisian hospital as early as 2024, and the manufacturers are confident that schools, hotels, and nursing homes will also want to buy these helpers. This system protects against leakage from barrels, tanks, and other containers, both stationary and mobile. It somewhat resembles an inflatable pool and can be used in oil production and refining areas. In case of a leak, the PVC ring rises along with the liquid, preventing it from reaching the ground, while the margin of safety allows you to park vehicles on top of the system. The range is extensive. For example, there is a 179-gallon version that weighs only 31 pounds. They're usually made of PVC, which makes the systems easy to maintain, easy to assemble, and long-lasting.
We are just getting used to new phones, such as the Galaxy Z Fold, but Samsung has already launched an even cooler device. The Flex Hybrid technology allows you to simultaneously fold and twist the screen, so now the shape of new gadgets is limited only by the imagination of the designers. According to the idea, Flex Hybrid allows you to create a smartphone that can be unfolded to the size of a laptop, but so far, Samsung has not specified when to expect it on the market. It's clear from the concepts and insider information that the 10.5-inch 4x3 screen can transform to 12.4 inches with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. These are the characteristics experts say we'll see in one of the Korean giant's newest smartphones. It's funny that in five years, these devices will look obsolete, one commenter ironically said. What you see now is a useful but very odd-looking product from Japan. It resembles a Darth Vader mask or a muzzle, and it helps to communicate without disturbing others. According to the tests, it makes your speech 20 to 30 decibels quieter, which means that a person sitting next to you won't hear a thing if you're wearing this gadget. It can be connected via Bluetooth to a wide range of devices, from smartphones to computers. One charge lasts for eight hours of communication. There's also a 3.5mm jack for headphones. For short conversations, you can hold the gadget to your mouth with your hand, and for long conversations, you can use the straps to hold it in place. The price of the gadget is about $156, and buyers from the US will be able to order it later this year. According to analysts' projections, by 2026, the demand for natural gas in Europe will increase by about 60%. So, the world will clearly need other resources. That's why engineers suggest unexpected alternatives. What do you think of using high-speed roads as batteries? The idea of this Austrian-German team is simple. Installing a kind of roof with solar cells above the road. The fact is that many European countries consist of densely built areas and expensive land. So, batteries over the road are not only practical, but also an economical solution. Germany alone will be able to get about 47 terawatt hours of energy. Besides, the solar roof will protect against precipitation, allowing the roadbed to last longer. Next up is a shoe concept from a designer in Singapore. The idea is this. Many people have reinvented their usual commuting patterns and are walking more often instead of traveling in crowded trains and buses. So they need shoes that help them walk faster and more comfortably. By adding a pinch of creative design and a pneumatic system, we get shoes that increase stride length, allowing us to walk 10% more than usual and reduce the risk of foot and shin pain. Unfortunately, it's not yet clear whether the concept will go into production. Here is a slightly simpler but no less useful product that you can get for $129. This is a pool heating system. One heater fits pools up to 354 cubic feet and raises the temperature by 9 to 27 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the weather. You can easily install several at once if needed. For improved efficiency, it's important that the heater see the sun's rays for at least six hours a day and be positioned at the optimum angle. That's where the difficulties end. Assembly is easy. Hoses and couplings are included, and the entire structure weighs about 18 pounds. Another road project this time for charging electric cars. The Swedish authorities allocated almost $8 million for the test section. This is not that much, 
considering that the EU plans to stop producing cars with internal combustion engines by 2035. Therefore, today the authorities of many countries are already working to make people more willing to buy electric cars. This charging road is interesting because of its versatility. It's suitable for almost any vehicle, from passenger cars to buses and trucks. It works simply. Special rails are placed on the road, and these receivers are placed on the cars. The system is connected to the internet and controls the payments online, and at the same time it monitors the state of the road, records traffic accidents, and provides other useful information. This is a concept car from BMW, and according to the news, we will see something similar on the market in 2025. This concept allows us to get an idea of the overall trend followed by BMW, and the next concept, which will be revealed a little later, will be as close to the production model as possible. The vehicle looks like a hybrid between a Tesla Cybertruck and a Hot Wheels car. And this is how BMW envisions the future of digital mobility. They haven't revealed the specs yet, but they do talk a lot about the smart features. A self-learning digital assistant, full-width windshield projection display, augmented reality options, and a steering wheel with a touchpad. In addition, an experimental e-paper technology will allow the owner to change the color of the car by adjusting as many as 240 separate segments. Besides, the promotional video stars the best Terminator of all times. They even use the joke about emotions. So, did you smile looking at this masterpiece of German engineering? Korean experts also have something to show. The Hyundai Mobis team also revealed cool Transport of Tomorrow concepts at CES 2023. Curiously, as if following the example of BMW, they don't talk about technical specifications. So, we only have a general vision of its mobility of the future. The visitors of the show saw two concepts, the M-Vision TO and the M-Vision HI. Let's talk briefly about each of them. The M-Vision TO is an autonomous shuttle with plenty of glass, which displays all sorts of useful information, like stops, directions, and more. It also has augmented reality, radars, lidars, cameras, an electric motor, and wheels that turn 90 degrees. The M-Vision HI is the same shuttle, but with a cooler configuration. The seats are bigger, the windows are fitted with displays, and you can watch movies and shop online without leaving the vehicle. Find the answer to your dream mobility, the company's website suggests. And it does look great, but we find it too flimsy.